Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what's new in Halion 7.1 that was just released and I'm going to show you some really powerful sound design features that we have in this version. Halion 7.1 introduces many improvements in Halion but also some really powerful things when it comes to sound design and I'm going to show you some of these new things in this video. The biggest thing that you will find in this new version is a new and improved spectral synth. So let's check out what's new together. So I have a new instance of Halion 7 loaded right here and I'm going to create a new spectral synth instrument. So I'm going to click right here and there we go. Now I have an empty spectral synth. In case you've never used the spectral synth before in Halion, I'm going to give you a very, very quick overview of what you can do. The first thing you can do is you can drop a sample into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this electric piano sample that I have. Let's listen to it. And I'm going to drop it into my spectral synth. Drop sample here. There we go. And now immediately I have a playable instrument. And the real power of the spectral synth in Halion is the pitch shifting and the time stretching quality. Listen to this. This is an electric piano that has an auto pan effect. If I go one octave lower. So the pitch shifting is incredible. Now let me show you what's new in this new version. You will see that the tabs right here have changed a little bit and this is because we have many new features. So for example, if I go to my effects tab right here, you will see we have our purity control and our inharmonicity control. Now the purity, if you haven't used this before, allows you to go from a mellow sound to a more aggressive sound. I love using this feature for creating dynamic, playable sounds out of one-shot samples like this one. So for example, if I want to create a super dynamic sound right now, I can just go here and activate note on velocity and I can add a little bit of depth and now the harder I play, I'm going to get a brighter, more attacky sound and the softer I play, I'm going to get a more mellow sound. But what you will find now in Halion 7.1 is this new blur option right here. So when I turn it on, check what happens. This blur effect smears the incoming signal with regards to its time and frequency and this creates an effect similar to chorus or reverb but it has a very unique sound character and you can use this effect to create this kind of wall of sound. Check it out. There's absolutely no reverb in this sound and you can hear it when I lift the key it's completely dry. This is all the synth engine behind the spectral synth. So I'm going to play a little bit with the blur parameters, so the blur time and the blur depth. Then we can have a blur mix right here. So you can see from a very simple one-shot EP sound, I came up with this sound that it's kind of like I spent hours trying to create this with a synthesizer. There's another button here, it's called direct, and this basically allows you to have the direct blur sound straight away. This is very useful if you have sounds that need a very punchy attack like a bass or a lead 
this allows you to go straight into the sound where if this direct button is deactivated, the attack time increases with the blur time, which means that the longer you set the blur time, the more slowly the sound fades in. So if you want the sound to start directly, just activate the direct blur. So this is one of the things that you will be able to do with this new version, is create those beautiful, atmospheric, rich instruments just by dropping a sample in. And playing with the blur time gives you some really beautiful results. Still no river, by the way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something else that's brand new and you're going to have loads of fun with this feature. If I go to the multi-page right here, you will see now we have the unison mode, but now we also have a new stack mode. Now, the unison mode was there before. You can add multiple voices if you want, but now we have a stack mode as well. And this is genius because what we can do here is we can add pitch shifted copies of the spectrum. So let me give you a very quick example. Now we have the spectrum. It plays. Let's add some of them and see what happens. So now I can add one octave higher. One fifth over this octave. Two octaves. Maybe I can add one octave below and two octaves below as well. So you can tell how big of a sound I can create, this massive wall of sound. The great thing is I can even turn panning on for these stacks. So I can say I want this to be pan hard left, hard right, and maybe I can add some more right here. And let's pan them left and right and listen to what we have here. All this just from one sample. The other great thing that you can do here is you can stack with pure intonation. This is very useful if you have sounds like uh, pure sound waves like soul tooth, pulse waves, and you want to retain this kind of pure intonation and you want to have the intervals corrected to sound purely harmonic. The other very cool thing that you can do here is you can learn your stacks. So if I click on this and I start playing some notes, I can create my own stacks just by playing on the keyboard. Now, if I play one note, So it's very easy to create your own stacks and then again I can play with the time here with the blur. Loads of fun. It goes without saying that with the spectral synth we can time stretch the samples in a very creative way. So I can just turn this speed all the way down. Or completely freeze the sample. I can activate legato if I want to. Channel spread so I can have more oscillators playing. We can activate the format.
And we have, of course, a lot of options when it comes to the analysis of the sample. So as you can see here, if we go to the analysis page, we can change the window type, we can change the frequency resolution, we can decide if we want to have transit detection or phase lock. So you have loads of control when it comes to how your sample is going to be analyzed. And there's a lot of options depending on how much CPU power you have and how much of a stellar quality you want to have. So you can change the quality from standard all the way up to best. And need I remind you again that this was a very simple electric piano sample that we just created there. Now let's drop in a completely different sample. I have this uh, vocal sample from Media Bay. Alive. And now I'm going to drop it into our spectral synth and let's have a listen. Alive. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my blur now and I'm going to make the mix 100%. And it sounds beautiful already, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the speed quite a bit. Let's play some chords. So you can tell how much power we have right there when it comes to sound design. This simple vocal sample became like an otherworldly, ethereal texture. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a channel spread. Let's see what we can do there. Now it keeps evolving and evolving. Let's have some fun with the stack mode. Let's add some stacks now. Are you ready? Let's have a listen. One more time. You know what? I'm going to turn this into a pad. I'm going to go to my amp envelope and make a nice slow attack and a nice slow release as well. told you, wall of sound. And that's without even adding a reverb, without adding any of these things. It's pure synthesis. And as a last thing, I'm going to assign my format to my CC1 right here. And let's see what we can come up with. Let me show you what happens if we drop a drum loop in the spectral synth in Hylian 7.1. That's our loop. Let's see how it became. So there you go, this is what you can do with the Hylian 7.1 update and the new spectral synth. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to create amazing sounds. Enjoy Hylian 7.1 and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.